I often get asked what is the ultimate descent on a mountain bike? Something that has everything from rocks to roots to corners to high speed to technical terrain. Well, today we're going to be riding a trail in Molini T. Truer called Cop Killer, which is 1300 meters descent. That's about 4,000 feet. Uh, it takes about 20 minutes to do it and it has pretty much everything you can wish for. Uh, now joining me today to do the Cop Killer Trail is a guy who thinks he's fast, uh, double world downhill champion Fabian Burrell and... <laughs> Hello guys, I'll how, take that one, no worries. <laughs> how would you describe Nico Antonio's? Well, just crazy skier, like uh, amazing mountain man that's been, I mean, top to bottom, crazy on the skis okay. and uh, yeah, sometimes it's, uh, oh, it's a bit of a head to toe. <laughs> so, but when you often ride trails for the first time, you need to be able to, to read the terrain, right? Yeah. So I guess someone like Nico is a great guy. Didn't bring well, he definitely knows how to get speed, right? <laughs> that's one yeah, thing. I'm not sure he knows much cool. about roots and rocks. That's normally the full cover of snow, but yeah. We'll give it a go. Good experience. Riding in Leger is good experience, so he's there. So to get to Kopkiller requires an uplift or you drive yourself here to the Col de Meloza, but you'll definitely need a guide. Uh, but all good things have to start with a bit of a punchy climb and we have to go up to the barracks on the top of that mountain, which is about a 20 minute uh, ride. So we'll rejoin you when we get up there. Yeah, and you have to forget one thing. You didn't say to anyone else that you wanted to take the road when we're gonna actually yeah, take the single track to go up there. <laughs> <laughs> so you get that one. <laughs> Burrell was in no doubt that it was to be the hard road and not the easy road that would be the opening sequence to our ride and soon the physicality of the task became very clear as rock step after rock step the path, well more stream bed, pulled us sharply up the mountain. Now to get to the top of Copkiller there is two routes, there's the road route or there's a technical single track. Now, yeah. Now make sure if you're in a group of riders, you have a robust conversation of what route to take because that was tough, Jack, right? Yeah. That was a tough limestone climb. But and thanks to who? Thanks to Fabian <laughs> Burra. Come on. <laughs> Now the start to Copkiller is actually very subtle. Just five stones marks the entrance to the trail. But this guy's is gonna be mental. Before dropping in, I told Burrell to take it easy, but then double world champions don't have such words in their vocabulary. Soon we were slashing through dirt and root, the brakes ever present, but seldom used. The most stunning feature of Kopkela is not just the beautiful flow, but how the ecology changes as you descend through the differing microclimates, beach to fir, limestone to shale, open hill to dense tree cover. Where you live in the south of France, there's a lot of rock and tech. Uh, that first part of Cop Killer was rooty, was earthy, and the Lonely. corners. The corners. Absolutely amazing. Like we had this very fast part up the top where you could actually hit things super fast. Even pulling like some of the doubles was actually super fun. And the, the loamy part here with Nico 
flat pedal drifting in the corner <laughs> were actually, <laughs> actually pretty fun. <laughs> but you know, you come to a lot of places and we ride some ancient tracks used by hunters. Yeah. That was made for mountain biking and the corners were just... I'm not sure if it was actually made for mountain biking, but if that's the, if that's the case, it's been really well designed. Like yeah. uh, the end of the corners are not clothing, which allows you to actually let the brake go halfway of it to, yeah, yeah. to just carry speed out. It was the perfect gradient, super good momentum. Yeah, just a good laugh. And, uh, and the chainsaws in the background are probably for Fabian because he's absolutely <laughs> hauling. <laughs> Now these guys behind me are absolutely lunatics. Uh, definitely got a screw loose, I'm telling you. Uh, talking about the trail, so when we're going down Copkiller, it goes from conifer trees to broadleaf. So we're now going from the larch into the beech tree. So it's really cool as you're going down the hill, the light changes, as you can see, we're going into like lighter, lighter green leaves. But the corners, they just keep on coming. Man. From here the trail tightened as we entered a limestone cliff section. No room for error here. Yo Nico, halfway down, still a lot of way to go. That's the that's the finish down there where that's the village there. is. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> All the way at the bottom yeah. of the valley. What about that lomi stuff? What did you think? That close was, to skiing or no? That was close to skiing, like drifting and muddy was. You're getting some close trust up, and uh, trust yeah, and I'm, confidence. Uh, maybe too much. <laughs> but, but I spent maybe seventy percent of much, my energy. Still, still on the bike, so that's yeah, okay. <laughs> still up. Not, All right, brilliant. Not Let's yet. make it down then. Huh? Soon the pace accelerates again, the track straightens to over 50 kilometers an hour before suddenly all hands on deck for a 90 degree left, arcing right and back up to tempo. Now we've been descending for over 15 minutes on high speed single track and with no end in sight we continue to press on, Burrell sniffing out an inside line only to be retaken. That's close! Thank you. 
So we've just hit the bottom of Cop Killer, 20 minutes of absolute mayhem. It changed so much from the top and it just shows uh, how high it was because you go through different sort of almost climate bands as you're heading down the mountain. Now at the river crossing, we've simply got to get up to the village uh, and then down to Triora for some lunch. So after a bit of trials action across the stream and then some brisk road riding back to the village of Triora, we here had some class food, Fabian. Really nice. Really cheese, nice food. proper cheese. meat, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. really nice coffee. Italy. It's br brilliant. Yeah. Um, so there you go, a, the descent of um, Cop Killer. It was bracing, it was actually quite chilling on occasions with these yeah. two lunatics, <laughs> Fabian Burrell and Nico. Yeah that we just lost, I think. Nico Antonios. <laughs> Nico. <laughs> Nico. Nico. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that was a proper one. <laughs> uh, if, you guys, if you guys want to uh, go and try out Cop Killer, if you haven't got an e-mountain bike, we have a guide, Roberto, from Refugio uh, Franco Alavena, which is on the Col de Lamado below. Say. He's also got wolf trails, so uh, check out his website and you can either rent an e-bike or be guided by Roberto. Uh, and fantastic experience, just like we had today. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, I think one of the classic downhill descents in the world. Fabio. Yeah, diversity absolutely amazing and uh, brilliant time and thanks again for the warm welcome. Yeah, it was cool. super good. So there you go, uh, let's know your thoughts on Cop Killer. Come and try out Cop Killer for yourselves. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Nico! <laughs> let's go back. <laughs>